Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. My name is Sam Singh and I'm back with another quick tutorial on how to optimize your workflow using your Wacom Cintiq 16. Today I'll take you through a feature I actually just recently learned about where you can customize your brushes in Illustrator to respond to your pressure sensitivity. For a really long time, I thought this was something that was only exclusive to Adobe Photoshop, but you can actually achieve that in Illustrator as well. This is particularly helpful for anyone who likes to sketch on their tablet, and you'd like to preserve the quality of your lines using vectors instead. So before we get into the tutorial, there is a key setting that you do have to ensure is turned on on your system preferences before you get started. So I'm here on a Mac, so I'm gonna go down to system preferences here, click on security and privacy, and scroll down to accessibility. What you'll need to ensure is that both Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop, or any of your preferred drawing apps are checkmarked in this section. And all this really does is just assure that the apps have permission to make any changes to your computer. So that is going to be a key security feature uh, that you do have to make sure is turned on in order for you to customize any brushes on Illustrator, especially if you're setting up your Wacom for the very first time on your computer. So this all looks good to go. So let's go ahead and just close that. And here in Illustrator, let's go ahead and get started. So you'll need to open up the brushes panel here. So if you don't have it, just go to Windows, click on brushes. And you'll see that Illustrator already comes with a few default brushes here that you can easily just start using if you're using this for the first time. Um, so let's just go ahead and select one. And what you'll see here is, you know, no matter what pressure I put on my brush and on my tablet here, the weight or thickness of the lines pretty much remains the same, um, which is kind of nice depending on your art style or, or the kind of look that you're going for. But there's definitely a way to fine tune this a little bit so it seems a little more natural. So let's maybe get rid of all this. And I'll show you just how to do that. So we'll go down here to the plus sign here to create a new brush. We'll go ahead and keep it here at the calligraphy brush setting here. Um, let's go ahead and name our brush. Let's say we'll call this maybe sketch brush. Cool. And then we're gonna wanna toggle with these little drop down menus here. So let's change them all to pressure. And down here is going to be the key one. So keep your eyes on the little preview that we have here as I toggle this to the right. So what you're noticing is that our little start point is going to be very small. And as we continue to add pressure to our pen, the point will get larger. So this is Illustrator's way of figuring out how to respond to your pressure. So we'll go ahead and maybe leave this here at eight points. That seems about good. And I do encourage you to play with these settings as well, where you can fine tune it and customize it even more. So you can maybe change the angle on here, depending on how you like to draw, and uh, even the roundness as well. You can make it a little narrower. Maybe kind of response, almost like your brush pen. Uh, the size you don't need to worry about too much you can always uh, modify that as you're drawing but uh, i think that looks pretty good right so we'll go ahead and click ok and let's see what our new brush looks like so we'll start with light pressure going to heavier then light heavy again nice So already that looks far more natural than that first brush that we actually started using, the default one. And you can get some really fine detail lines with this new brush that you've created. And as you know, everything in Illustrator that you're drawing on here is going to be based on vector points. So if I select all, you're going to see all of the points here. And if you needed to maybe adjust any of them, 
you can go ahead and select one, maybe move it around. Maybe a couple tweaks here and there to your liking. Pretty neat. So it is a nice way to sort of bridge the gap between, you know, using something that's really rigid like these vector points and using your brush in a more natural sort of way. Awesome. So no matter what your skill level is, you can fine tune your tools in Illustrator to adapt to how you like to draw on your Wacom tablet. <laughs> Well, thanks everyone for joining me today. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Keep on practicing and we'll see you next time. Take care now. Bye.